Okay, so this is the third of our videos um, demonstrating how to build a, a, a complex YUI uh, application using EWD. And this is where we'd got to before, um, where the uh, index page called in two fragments. I'm just showing you this in um, Firefox because I've got Firebug loaded in, in this. And just to prove, if we look down in the Firebug trace, You'll see at the bottom of the listing there, get initial menu and get login panel, showing that indeed uh, EWD did fetch those two fragments into our index page uh, in order to create that text. So let's go back to our login panel page and we're going to make it bring in the first of our YUI components now. So it currently just, uh, just has the text. Uh, this, this will be the login dialog panel. So let's turn it into a dialog panel and we'll do that by pasting in this text here instead. So what have we done here? Well you'll see this um, tag here YUI dialog, YUI colon dialog which is an EWD custom tag. I created that custom tag. It's not part of EWD itself. Um, I used EWD's custom tag extensibility layer to uh, build that and that custom tag YUI dialog um, will build for me at compile time all the JavaScript needed to create a YUI dialog panel. And the other thing I've done in the definition of this custom tag is to allow me to use simple attributes to define the other properties like the width of the panel where I'm going to position it in the page, the X and Y coordinates, and the text that I want to appear in the top. So you'll see that this is a very simple way of defining a YUI dialog panel now. So let's see what happens. You'll, we've not got a form in there at the moment, just that text, but let's see what happens now if we save this. We'll go turn to our putty session and we'll recompile our application go back into our browser and we'll rerun it and now give it a look it should show up as a login panel <coughs> and um, you'll see that the text is there in the uh, in the header and we can move the panel around and it's the width that we defined and it positioned it where we defined it. Um, if we look in um, the Firebug trace for login panel and look at the response, we should see now all of this JavaScript which has been created. Here's our new Yahoo widget dialog. So all of that was generated by the compiler and then fed back at runtime. So we've not had to write any of that JavaScript at all. We just defined the, uh, we just decided to use a YUI dialog custom tag and uh, put the text inside it. So what about uh, putting the form inside that dialog? What do we have to do for that? Well, let's go back to our new version of the login panel and we'll replace this text now with a form. So let's type, let's drop in this here into it. Oops, we'll just replace that text with this. Fairly straightforward form. So form method equals post, notice action equals EWD. So that defines it as an EWD automated form. And we've got two input fields username and password. Simple input uh, fields, type equals text, type equals password, nothing unusual in that. Let's save that. Recompile. And go back to the browser. Resubmit it. And up should come the form now within the within the uh, dialog panel. Um, the last thing we need there is a button, a submit button, 
So let's uh, add that into our page and we'll use a nice uh, YUI one in this case and we've got a we can use a YUI custom tag for that. So I'm going to drop this bit of text into the form just here. And you'll see we've just said YUI submit with a name, a login button and a value of login. Um, we've not we're not going to instruct it what to do at this point. We'll come on to that in the next video. But let's compile that. And rerun it in the browser. Click the browser and you should see when the dialog comes up. There we are. There is the um, form with the login button. Um, for some reason my copy of Firefox was running a little slow there. Let's try this in Chrome and we'll rerun it in here. And there we are. You can see it. this comes up almost immediately each time I refresh it. And you'll notice here that it was, you see the, the initial text was appearing there. So we could get rid of that very quickly. Let's bring up our index page and we'll get rid of the text in here and our main container here I just put a non-blinking space in there as well save that recompile and now when we run this We're still seeing this text because that came out of the um, out of the uh, fragment, but it's now lost the, the 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 previous text. So there we are. We've now got our um, submit form. In the next video, I'll show you how to replace the menu bar. But you can see so far we've done everything without any programming at all. It's all been done by using custom tags and the, um, the markup in, con in um, fragments. Okay, I'll leave it at that. See you in the next video.